This is Jeff Evans reporting for Global Medical News Network. An analysis of the largest North American series of surgically treated patients with Moya Moya disease has found gender differences in presenting symptoms and postoperative adverse events. Dr. Gary Steinberg discussed the study at the annual meeting of the American Association of Neurological Surgeons. What does your study tell clinicians who might encounter a patient with suspected Moya Moya disease? This study, which is looking at the gender differences in terms of both presentation and outcome, suggests that female patients have a much greater tendency to present with TIAs rather than either stroke or hemorrhage than the male patients. We also showed that uh, the number of adverse uh, events, the percentage of adverse events uh, following revascularization surgery uh, was higher in females. So although we have a small uh, uh, adverse outcome effect after revascularizing, it's less than 10%, uh, the percentages of, of women who had that uh, around uh, uh, 12% was higher than the percentage of males who had adverse effects, uh, adverse events. That was about 5%, uh, and that was over the five-year period after, uh, after the revascularization surgery, although most of the adverse events were in the perioperative period. Are there any suspected reasons why females present with different symptoms and have greater postoperative risks? Uh, that's a great question. We don't know the answer. It may relate to uh, estrogen levels, which is something that's unique uh, in, in females compared with males. We don't know that for sure. It may relate to other factors that are different uh, in terms of female biology. Uh, could be have to do with a blood vessel wall that uh, is different in some ways in females than in, in males. Uh, it could relate to, to uh, other uh, biological uh, uh, or even environmental factors, as an example, because the environment interacts with the, uh, the, the gender in a way. This has been Jeff Evans for GMNN.